so again, forgive me for, for very limited ability to scroll, but you can see this was this was a CT done in July of 2017. Um, and even though I can't scroll much, but you can appreciate that there's a huge kind of heterogeneous necrotic mass. Even on this one cut, you can see that it's invading into the into the left. I'm sorry, right renal vein. So when I when I looked at this case, I uh, you know I dictated renal cell carcinoma with uh, you know renal vein invasion. Uh, didn't provide a differential, right? You know, fairly reasonable. Not for you know this is fairly classic. Um, but I don't know about your <clears throat> how your PACS works, but our PACS doesn't always show PET scans. As a, as a comparable prior. So so I didn't see the, that there was a PET scan uh, previously performed. And this is actually CT done at the same time with PET scan. And this was done in March. So the, the difference between these two studies is four months. So you can see that the, yeah, at the, at the time. Four months. Right. So, so you can see again. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time scrolling, but you can see this this kidney was completely normal, save for like a three millimeter cystic um, that that you know we always see nobody comments about. So, a urologist came back to me and said, "Well, we agree that it looks just like renal cell carcinoma, but renal cell carcinomas don't grow in four months like that." Um, and the history that was available in the uh, in PET scan, which you know, again, it didn't didn't show up in in a in a prior report in the prior comparison list is that this patient had a squamous cell carcinoma of the anus. Wow. So the patient went to the OR, and this is actually a squamous cell uh, met, um, which which without a prior you would you know you would just look at it and say renal cell carcinoma next next cases. I have a MAR unfortunately again, which is a uh, let's see if I can pull it up, but. MR is just, you know, there's nothing, nothing at all here that that raises suspicion that we're not dealing with um, with just your routine renal cell. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up um, quickly. The problem it's just is very your packs we have as well that the algorithm for pulling old studies doesn't automatically pull our prior PET CTs. And I've become a right. compulsive fiend, and I don't trust any algorithms. And I always go through all of the old cases on cancer cases to find out to make sure right. I'm, I'm not <laughs> missing something. So th this is this is the right way to do it. And, and I'm not going to lie, I, I I try to do it, but occasionally, you know, it slips my mind, or I look in the prior and don't notice that it's. You know, all relevant priors are selected instead of all all or priors. Your senior, or your senior resident presents to you the relevant prior case. <laughs> <in your testing. laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to put it on my resident. This is my. This is on me. This is completely on me. I should have. I should have put it on all comp like all available priors. But um, anyway, so, well, it's what I'm, it, on the we bar, have it has, on as well. <laughs> so this was. This was. This was fully my fault. Um, I had a but, I had but, a similar one, Victoria, where a mass like popped up in six months, and the same thing. I called it an RCC, and they were like, "It doesn't grow that fast," and it turned out to be a plasma yeah. cytoma. <sighs> right. So, so this this is I guess this this is the teaching case. RCCs, even though they're really really nasty and large, they just don't grow this fast. Um, so uh, actually, our urologists wrote it up as a case report because they, they've never seen. Um, a, a square muscle method that did this. I'm sorry, it's taking forever. But to, uh, I promise you that there's nothing on the MAR that that would would clue you in into anything else other than RCC, which is typical as typical as they come. But 